What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here, back for another career mode episode in Don Bradman Cricket 17. Before we get any further in this video guys, make sure you smash that like button if you enjoy this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to keep completely up to date. And remember, for all you people who are subscribed already, hit that bell beside the subscribe button to be part of the notification squad. Get notified every time I go live, uh, which is just what we want. But we're in our round 3 clash of the Big Bash League, taking on uh, finalists actually in the real life Big Bash League, Sydney sixes which I think is happening tonight uh, if I'm not wrong but we had a good win last time around against the heat can we back it up against the sixes we'll find out in just a few seconds so as you can see, Sydney got a pretty stock standard side. Sean Tate, for some reason, is playing for both sides. Don't know how that happens. Ben Dorsch is batting six, and Sam Billings, their wicketkeeper. Uh, we are at the toss, and it is Mitchie Stark, who actually is their captain. Um, I think captains in this game basically are just the best players in the team. That's why Stuart Broad's ours. Um, and as you can see, the Hobart Hurricanes have chosen to have a bowl. So hopefully we can get in, we can bowl the six sides out for a low, low total. Uh, we'll just skip through until we actually do get a bowl. Because otherwise it is going to be pretty boring. Alright boys, we're back in. It's nice to see that very defensive fields are actually very defensive in this game now. I think that's come through um, with the patch. We do actually have players outside the ring. And as we can see, that one there is just bunted down for a single. We did pretty well in our last 2020 game. If you haven't gone and checked out that video, make sure you go and check out episode 17 of this career mode series. Um, I think we picked up two for six with the ball, which is pretty impressive. Um, we did score a few runs as well. So hopefully we can look at emulating uh, that result here today. As I did start, uh, say at the start of the video, the Sixers, obviously, finalists in the Big Bash League. I think that game is actually happening tonight. I think after this video goes live, um, it will be going in, like, two hours' time, I think, from memory. I think it's about 9 o'clock uh, New Zealand time that things are kicking off. Um, the Sixers, obviously, winning in a super over against the Brisbane Heat. Uh, and the Scorchers beating the Stars. I think that was on Tuesday now. It seems quite a long time ago that the games were, but um, the game over in the furnace over in Western Australia, and a lot of people have been asking me, Cliffy, who is your pick to win this Big Bash League? Um, and I think, you know, it is hard. The Sixers, if everything does get going for them, and we saw Moises um, getting going on, again, I think it was Wednesday night, I'm losing track of my days at the moment, um, but we saw him get going, and if that's the same, Nick Madison didn't make any runs, um, and, you know, Michael Lum was quite, uh, well, I guess a spectator in the game, more or less. But, you know, if one of those guys can get going, Sydney do actually have a very, very dangerous side. Um, and I'm guessing Jackson Bird, Nathan Lyon will probably play again. Nathan Lyon was very good in that uh, in that game. I think he took four for, Sean Abbott was good as well. He got four for two. Um, but I guess, you know, the, um, the Perth Scorchers, you know, year in and year out, we say that they are the form team of the competition. And uh, there can't really be a truer of a statement. They almost make semifinals, like the Melbourne Stars most years, but they can capitalise on those semifinals and move into the big grand final, the big grand dance. Um, so, yeah, it really is a game I think that can go either way. I think Perth probably slight favourites uh, as it is over in Western Australia. They have played very well there. They haven't really lost too many players to the national side as well. The only one I can think of off the top of my head uh, is Mitch Marsh, who is gone. He is injured at the moment, um, but they've still got Sean Marsh. They've still got Klinger. They've still got Whiteman. Uh, Bresnan, Mitchell Johnson, by well, he bowled incredible in the uh, semi-final game. He took three for three off his four overs, which included two maidens, you know, for a guy who uh, is recently retired uh, from international cricket is an absolute incredible spell. But we've got him, they've got uh, Andrew Ty, Jai Richardson's been bowling well. Uh, so it is a game really that I think could go either way. Um, and it is going to be very interesting to see. It is definitely a game that I'll be getting up uh, to watch. But um, the Sixers, I know for a fact that they are going to be without one of their international players. They are going to be without Colin Munro on Saturday, as I believe he is in the New Zealand squad uh, for the Chapel Hadley, which starts on Monday. So I'm guessing uh, New Zealand cricket wanted him in here in New Zealand uh, just to prepare for that. So that's a huge loss for the Sixers. He didn't really do too much in the Super Over. Um, he couldn't actually lay bat on ball. And I think... Batted number three, which is a bit higher than he has batted in this big bash so far. And I think he got about 22 off 10. So he was dangerous, but, uh, you know, us New Zealanders especially know how dangerous he can be. I mean, he's coming off a, uh, a 2020 International 100 uh, not too long ago. So he can definitely go and get the job done if required. But 
This has been, I wouldn't say that this has been a boring spell from us, uh, but we have just been economical, and that has been, I guess, the story uh, of, you know, just our story about Big Bash so far. You know, we haven't been a huge wicket taker. We've only taken two wickets in the space of two games. Um, but we have, I mean, we still have definitely done a job with the ball. We've been economical. This over's got only gone for five. I think the one before this went for six or seven. So definitely going and doing our job. But Big Bash final, that is happening, as I said, Saturday night, I believe. Big game. Um, personally, myself, I wouldn't mind seeing the sixes going and getting up. Um, again, just for Colin Munro and a few other players, it would be nice to see them go and do that. But... My money, if I was a betting man, uh, would definitely go on the Scorchers at home. They can go and, you know, do a pretty good job, which I'm guessing they probably are going to look at doing. Just the two overs for us today, none for 11. Hopefully we can get a bat and try and chase down this big total, this 160-odd um, that is being required. Timmy Payne, that's a great record when you look at it. And Sean Tate in, but I'm yeah, I'm guessing we're probably going to get not many. As we can see, that 22 not out coming from last time. Averages and stats have been fixed as well uh, in the game, so I'm pretty happy with that. We do require 22 off the last 11. Mitchell Stark steaming in, and uh, we will be well pressed uh, to try and get him away, but we do have 10 balls left. 22 runs required. Mitchell Stark isn't going to bowl out his whole four, which I think in 2020 cricket is an absolute dying shame. He should definitely be bowling, uh, definitely his quota. So hopefully Benny McDermott can get the job done as well. Hopefully he gives us a few more balls strike as well because um, the Australian-Pakistan game that happened on Thursday night, almost a, a world record stand for the Australians. They got close. They were very close. Um, I think 284 is what they ended up getting, and 286 was the world record. So uh, Travis Head hit his maiden test. What am I saying? Test. I'm playing one day international. Hit his maiden one day international hundred. He finished with 123. Dave Warner had 109, uh, 197. God, my stats are all over the place today. 179, which is his highest one day score as well. Um, they put on a partnership of 284, which I said was just two runs short of the world record, which was 286. I'm not quite sure who that was by, um, but very, very close to picking that up. Oh, that's going to be wide. That's going to help us big time. So we've got a four, we've got a wide, and um, I think now we only require, so we require 12 or four, so we basically need uh, three boundaries here, but yeah, um, Australia posting 379 or something ridiculous like that, um, which you know is always going to be difficult to chase down. Um, Pakistan actually did themselves a credit, they actually did quite well, better than I thought they would, um, and I think... We have actually only gone and picked up three, but Pakistan only fell about 50 runs short, so made about 315, uh, three... What am I saying? I mean, yeah, made about 315, 320. The Sixers get up in a close one here. We just couldn't quite close it out, which is a shame. Um, but they win by four runs. George Bailey, man of the match for his 82. Benny McDermott just couldn't quite get it done at the end. We finish a pretty boring game, to be honest, by our standards. None for 11, just the two overs. And uh, we did only back for four balls. But we're keeping that average going. We're averaging... 30 now in Big Bash Cricket, which is good uh, with the bat. I'm not too sure with the ball. Uh, but now that we've done this, we do have a bit of time. We'll go and have a look at the league table, look at our selection status, and just see how we're going. All right, boys, so something else that is quite exciting. We have had multiple offers for the upcoming Pakistani Premier Plate, which I'm guessing is the Pakistan Super League, which is happening uh, very shortly after the Big Bash League. Uh, now, I have no idea about... Uh, you know, what these teams are, what these Pakistan uh, Super League teams are. I've looked a little bit into it, but not too much. Um, so we've got these guys. We've got the Karachi Royals, Lahore Lions. Lahore, Lahore is a team that I've heard of. Um, I think there's six teams in the Pakistan Super League. So I think I've actually missed out on one. But I'm going to go with the Lahore Lions because, again, uh, that is the only team that I have heard of. And we'll just see basically who is in there. But I think that's happening after the Big Bash League. So we've got a lot of 2020 cricket that is coming around. Next game is still around three clash. I don't quite know how that works. But against the Melbourne Renegades, uh, 6v7, so a big game for both teams. And as we can see on the ladder here, when we finally get to there, man, it is, it's so annoying how it does that. It should just go straight to the thing. But the Thunder on top, very unrealistic. The, the Sixers, they still haven't lost a game, so they're doing very well. The Heat in third, Scorchers in fourth, Stars in fifth. The Hurricanes, we are currently in sixth position. 
Uh, just the one win from the first two games. That net run rate's good for us, though. It is keeping it close, um, and that could come crucial, especially considering if we do win our next game against the Renegades, it would actually see us. If we could get a big enough... Well, sorry. If we get a, uh, a good enough win... Definitely to fifth, possibly could head into fourth as well. Um, but quickly, just going to have a look and see who is in this Lahore Lions team. I think one of the Akmal brothers, I think Umar Akmal plays for them. Um, but as we can see, these guys are all people that I don't know. Yeah, so Sahail Tanvir, Muhammad Rizdin, who is the wiki keeper at the moment. Uh, Umar Akmal, going to be playing with Azria Ali, Dwayne Bravo, and Chris Gale. Would you believe? Playing in yellow as well, which is cool. I don't think I've played. Uh, I played for Chennai in uh, Don Bradman 14. But really cool. Really looking forward to playing as part of the Lahore Lions. Hopefully we can get in, get a bit of match practice before then, and try and see this Hobart side into the final if possible. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. Do hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, this is Cliffy, your king of career mode, and New Zealand's number one source of Don Bradman cricket content, signing out.